if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Orbits and the Thunderbirds, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and football has returned to America's finest city, San Diego, California. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season between the Orlando Orbits taking on the Thunderbirds of San Diego. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason has all led to this moment when they officially kicked this one off to get the season. A new season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And bringing them out is the rare southpaw in his fourth year, coming off his best season as a pro to a tongue of Iloa. This week, such an important one for his entire offense, but for him especially. He wants to start this new season off strong. He's got big plans for this year. Wants it to be one where he finishes among the league's best while leading his team to the postseason. A strong opening week is a great start to that and can create momentum that carries over not just to next week, but the next few weeks as well. A rising tide raises all ships, and if he can start this season off strong, his offense will benefit. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. That one caught by Tyreek Hill, and he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Gets it to Hill. It's a jet sweep. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. A run with Mostert up the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Here's Tua. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by one of the brightest young stars in the NFL, a fourth-year pro out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. It hasn't taken Herbert long to earn the status of one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. He's locked and loaded on every snap. In the second he sees an opening, the ball's soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, He's liable to burn you. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and one. Now the seven-year veteran, Austin Eckler. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Third down and one. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. 
They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing it up fourth down. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed them up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and have to run out in the field and try to put out the fire? Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. His throw incomplete. Chase Claypool, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Tua sets up to pass it. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Two and a throw again. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Now Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Waddle's first catch. Good for a first down. Here's Tonga Bailoa to throw. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 25, here's second and a couple. Looking to pass. Tua. Throw to the right, taken in by Barrios. So no gain on the play. And that'll leave it with a third and two. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. Now the rookie third-round pick. It's Devon A. Chan. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Throwing now is Tug of Iloa. Touchdown! Tyreek Hill from 19 yards away. And the orbits are on the board first here this afternoon. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And he 
he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So that drive 12 plays in length. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyree Kill. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now it's Herbert. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Herbert. That throw right side here going to be incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. A beautiful fake. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt. Three-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. And the drive starts with a run from H.A. Aaron Kendricks in on the tackle. Second and nine. Two are going to throw. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. A gain of 26 yards. And the Orlando first down. H.M. gets it from the gun. A tackle made by J.T. Woods. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Orlando with the football here to begin the second quarter. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a rip. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Jeff Wilson taking it in from four yards out. And the orbits go up by two touchdowns. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. Jason A nice hard-charging run. Give it right back to him and let him cap things off. 
Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. And this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. 51 yards on the punt there. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now a second and ten. Second and ten at the 24-yard line. Play action. Now it's Tua. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? Yeah, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. That's a step in the right direction defensively here because you're facing this sizable deficit. They're going to need more plays like that. A good sack, though, good effort there. And what you're hoping is, as you said, a step in the right direction, and that means it's something to build on. So you get the first one, and hopefully that can ignite them, and now they can make a few more plays and get back into this game. Now the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Back to throw here, Herbert. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off, and his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Orlando takes back over on offense. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But it's the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking, usually the best way to maintain control. 
On first down, they go with Mostert again. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second down, Tua. They throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. You still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket. You're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is. At the six-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they're not panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Looking deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Herbert. In trouble, and he's taken down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That time, Bradley Chubb shooting in there for the sack. So that now, four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he's able to get it out of there. Gets around him. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On play action, here's Tua. Open net is Waddle complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Tua sets up to pass it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And all the way in for the touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 34 yards. And the orbits are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Well, it's only week one, CD, but right now, this offense, they look in mid-season form. And what we're seeing is the benefits of all their dedication in the offseason. OTAs, mini camps, preseason, you name Jason it, they Sanders did it. All that work and preparation, we're seeing them play really well right now. They're making it all pay off. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Thunderbirds, 
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And this, you'd hate to say that a drive in the first half must end in points, but you're down 21-0. They're going to have to get something going fairly quickly. I would agree totally with that because if you're going to mount the comeback, it's going to have to come in bits and pieces. It doesn't just all come at one time, right? We haven't seen anything more than a six-point touchdown ever in this game, right? So that's how it has to be done. Get points on the board now. Start your comeback. But you're exactly right. Let's get it going right here in this spot. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not many brews just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. Jalen Waddle, the speedster wide receiver, brings out this offense. He's already approaching 100 yards and has the touchdown, I'm sure. On that opposite sideline right now, they're scratching their heads saying, all right, what do we do? And the hard part is, even if you limit him to a short catch, he has that make-you-miss ability to take it for big yardage and put in the end zone again. So trying to blanket him is very difficult, but ultimately, you've got to find a way to put him on the ground, tackle him, and he doesn't make that easy. Well, they're struggling with that so far. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The offense on third down, they've hit four of seven. This is third down and 12. Looking to pass, Tua. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Now this offense in mid-season form here in the opener, it's first and 10. Up the middle they go with Mostert. They'll get it across midfield down to the 49. Now a second and six. Here's Tua. Throw left side taken in by Hill. And he'll get it down here to the 43. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now. And he's got a first down. A handoff running left is Mostert. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. brings up second and three at the 21-yard line. Tua going to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. 
And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your guy, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Here's third and a few inches. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Raheem Mostert punching it in from a yard away. And the Orbits are able to widen their lead here in this first half. On third down and short and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations, but there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet? They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. Herbert on first down now. Pressure comes and down he goes. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A final shot before the break for Herbert. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season, so let's take our first trip around the NFL. Raheem Mostert, the veteran who did some damage in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half. Because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. Here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. For this They're offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. First and 10 at the 35 yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. 
That's to the sideline and incomplete. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And he slings one that's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Derwin James on the coverage. Now Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and ten, it's Mostert dancing away at the 35. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 40 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. A first down run there by Mostert as he'll get this forward for a gain of about three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Short throw hauled in by Croft. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, They'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he completes it to Barrios. Touchdown! Braxton Barrios, 49 yards. And the Orbits have taken a five-touchdown lead. Well, CD, I mean, simply put, if anyone around the league wasn't paying attention to them to start the season, they will be heading into week two. This has been an impressive week one performance. They've certainly announced that they are ready to go, haven't they? They wanted to send a message out to the rest of the league. You better put your eyes on us. We may be Jason someone Sanders you have to reckon with. Point. 
Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes this 35 to nothing now. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook, but bottom line is don't quit competing. On second down, Eckler. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. That's good for a San Diego first down. First and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Five yards, now it's third and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. Now it's Herbert. He's got Allen. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. At the 43 yard line. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's another San Diego first down. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Option play, and they'll give to Eckler. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. We're just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter. I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but... These small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. No, they're not. And right now, the guys stopping the run have been superior in this bad game. Giving them no openings, no seams, and now they've got this game well in hand. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Herbert operating from the red zone. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second and one now from the seven. A give. Eckler running to the right. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Third down and two. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Buying time to his left. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. And as a result, possession switches hands. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So there's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it because we don't know if we're going to get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And they'll get him down up 
past the 15. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We used to work relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And that is incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. On second down, Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener. And it's a first down. On the handoff, this is Moster. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. The throw over the middle taken in. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Looking to pass to a and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up. Second and 10. Back to the running game with Mostert. Down to about the 22 here. 67 yards rushing for him now to this point. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Here's Tua. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Third down. Throwing now is Tug of Iloa. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Herbert now. Finding Williams once more, complete. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. 
at the 43 yard line. Here's Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Herbert. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and three. It's a game of seven. Brings up second and three. They'll try the right side with Eckler. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. On first down, it's Herbert. Allen's got it complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. First and goal at the six yard line. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Austin Eckler, a six yard touchdown run. And the Thunderbirds are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, this opening game has certainly not gone their way to this point, but, yeah, that touchdown may be a, a glimmer of hope for the long season ahead. And no one in this league likes to talk about moral victories. No one likes to really just say, okay, well, maybe something went right. But you're exactly right about that. A little glimmer there. Maybe they can carry it over moving forward. And here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine at the 24-yard line. Again, they'll run it with Moster. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. And it's third down. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. So they bring out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Returnable here for Davis. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense they are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Christian Wilkins able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. A tough spot here, third and 15. 
from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Operating from the gun, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 27-yard line. Looking to throw. Herbert. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw again. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soaking hot time. This one, he's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. That's to his running back, complete. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. The decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And as a result, possession switches hands. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator now that they're 0 for 2. If they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll start this drive out on the ground. And some room to maneuver. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 90 yards rushing now from Mostert as he picks up a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record, but everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year you make your most progress between week one and week two, We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season. So for Orlando, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.